Have you ever gotten a call out of the blue and went, who's, who's calling? I got one of those calls quite a few years ago now when I was actually still playing for the Chargers. Uh, and it was a call that my secretary got, it was in the off season, and she buzzed me and said, uh, the vice president's calling. I said, really? Vice president what? She said, well, he didn't say, he just said he was the vice president. So I picked the phone off of hold and it was the vice president, as in George Herbert Walker Bush, vice president to Ronald Reagan. I remember, oh my gosh, how'd he get my number? Oh yeah, he's ex CIA chief, he probably knows a lot about me. And he goes, he goes, Rolf, Rolf, um, I'm calling because we're big sports fans and we know that you went through a difficult illness with ulcerative colitis and ultimately needed ostomy surgery. Our youngest son, Marvin, just had ostomy surgery. And I'm calling to see what kind of life he can expect to live. And I remember thinking, oh my gosh, this is an equal opportunity disease. Doesn't matter who you are, you might end up with an ileostomy. And I remember reassuring the vice president, I said, Mr. Bush, I promise you, Marvin will be able to do whatever he did prior to surgery. And he was encouraged by that. He invited me back actually a few weeks later. I got a chance to meet Marvin, spent a day and a half with him. And we talked about all the things that you're wrestling through. What kind of life can I live? I'm married. Kid, what about kids? What about sports? What about travel? And I was able to say, look, Marvin, you can do it all, whatever you want. He goes, I love to play tennis. I go, you'll be able to play tennis. I play tennis. Here's the deal. I promise you when you're back in shape, healthy, recovered, we'll play tennis together. Well, sure enough, I got a chance a year later to go back and visit him and we played tennis. Now I consider myself a pretty good tennis player. He killed me, kicked me, big tall guy, big serve and volley. And I couldn't have been happier to be beaten by, by Marvin Bush who returned to what he loved to do. Something you can as well. I hope this encourages you to keep up the fight to make the difference, to commit to doing whatever you love to do and battle, get back there to do it. And you can. All of us that have walked ahead of you are pulling for you. Now go get it.